Well, well, well. What's up, guys? We are almost in the top quarter. Number 26 on the list of the NFL's top 100 players in 2022. Welcome. Welcome, one and all. We're looking at Stefan Diggs, wide receiver for the Bills. Played for the Vikings. Played for the Vikings? Yeah, that'd be right. Uh, balled out. Unassuming to start his career, but he's worked his way up, worked his way up slowly but surely. Now he's absolutely respected as one of the you know, uh, elite wide receivers in the league, being that he is voted at number 26 on the list. I don't know exactly how he went last year. I'm pretty sure it was uh, relatively well. But, uh, well, I suppose all of that and more will be revealed. Wide receiver for the Bills, number 26 on the list, Stefan Diggs. Bell, do you think it's deserving to make the NFL top 100? In the NFL, is there... uh, Of course, I'm going to say my brother. That's... That's the first person that comes to mind. Both balling out on opposite sides of the field. Now, where was he? That's what I'm saying. Mm. You know what time it is. It's Happy Sunday! Game day has been tons of fun in Buffalo the last two years. Thanks to Josh Allen's big arm and Stefan Diggs' sweet hands. See, similar to... Well, I'll call that sweet feet. And sweet hands. What a catch. Um, I guess it's a similar combination... To the likes of uh, Cooper Cup and, and Matthew Stafford, really, isn't it? Hey, shooter McGavin! It is caught. Stefan Diggs, incredible. Trying to fire it, going to keep it himself. Finally throws it late. It is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. What a throw and catch at a time that the Bills desperately needed one. It's a great catch, baby. <laughs> His best physical yeah, is. trait is going up and catching the ball. There's not too many 50-50 balls that he doesn't come down with. It's going to be him or nobody. Stephon Diggs went up. He beat Xavier Howard. What a great play. And then again, if it's a bad or poorly thrown ball, he's knocking it down, so it's not an interception. So I love that about him, that he's protected. Well, he must have learned that from his brother. To me. Just a baller. Yeah, sick. I've actually never even, never even thought of that. I've never really thought of a wide receiver swatting the ball away because it's a bad throw. Not a bad idea at all. I mean, some of his releases off the line. I've seen tape of him literally acting like he has a basketball going between his legs. It seems like DBs yeah, just can't I've seen get that a game too. on him. <laughs> Diggs. Oh, oh, so mate. Good. I've seen that. I watched that live. Route running. I mean, he's up there absolutely best in the league at it. Yeah, he's up there. What we did leg. Kill Man's route. Diggs for that route. I mean, that's just a heck of a route. Not bad. Let the defender know with the dead leg that you're slowing down. Then you're going. He thinks you're going long. Next minute, the defender extends himself far too far. You turn on the curl route, catch the ball. Easy as dude, you gotta. Easy as that, right? No, I'm just joking. Be disciplined. Verse. He's a guy that's real shifty. He's gonna shake you and he'll beat you inside for the first down. Reminds me of Keenan Allen with his uh, route running. For whatever reason, I've I've looked at him over the years and I've never really thought of him as an elite route runner, but he clearly is. Shovels ahead. Stephon Diggs. Uh, 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 what? With most guys, they kind of have a certain route tree, so you can eliminate a lot of the plays they run. But with Diggs, they give him the whole route tree, and they give him options to do a lot of different things. He can Where's run he short. He can run deep. And I think that's what makes him dangerous. You really got to be on your piece. Oh, what a route. They're getting what a, a route. lesson what a from this veteran receiver. This is that deep post route. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you leave 14 one on one with the safety. I mean, you're asking for a big play to happen. Score it. Unbelievable. Maybe the best receiver in the NFL. The toughness is. Uh, it's so nice. He cuts in just at the right time, yeah. I, I, I respect you know, more than anything, because you can be a star wide receiver and kind of shy away from a lot of those things and still get away with it, but he's not one of those people. And I think his mentality of just being this dog that'll go after any... Now, the video is about to finish once again. We do need to have a look at his athletic stats. Nick Minnett. I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't. Uh, what have we got? November 29th, 1993. He's 28, 6 foot even, 191 pounds. Went to Maryland from... Uh, 2012 to 14, got picked up in the fifth round of the 2015 draft with pick number 146. Played at the Vikings for five years from 15 to 19. Uh, went to the Bills in 2020, so he's been there two seasons. Made his first first team All Pro selection in 2020 after going to the Bills. He's made two Pro Bowls. 
both of which are in Bill's season. NFL receptions leader in 2020. Now, why did I forget that? Could be because he's unassuming. Anyway, 446 for the 40 yard dash, 35 inches on the vertical, 9 foot 7 on the broad jump, and 11 reps on the bench. 446 for the 40 yard dash. Guys, that's, uh, that is absolutely moving. Right, 103 games. He's eclipsed the 100 mark, which is a big milestone. Seven, okay, so we got, we've got seven seasons, and he scored 7,383 receiving yards. He's just getting better and better. 720, 903, 849, 1021, 1130, 1535, which was back in 2020. What an absolute season and a half. Uh, led the league, as we know. And 1225 last year. I mean, with Cooper Cup almost making 2,000 yards, it was going to be pretty damn hard for him to lead the league. But still, he scored 10 touchdowns, which is career high. So in 103 total games, 7,383 yards, 48 touchdowns. And we won't talk about his rushing attempts in the playoff run last year two games only six receptions so it seems as if he was shut down but the playoff run the the year before in 2020 three games and 20 receptions for 311 yards and two touchdowns so last year's playoff run was not his best but uh well maybe this year will be due to the fact that he signed on april 6th 2020 two just a short four months ago he signed a four-year 96 million dollar contract extension with the bills through the 2026 season and i was expecting to 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 see that you know comma making him the highest paid nfl wide receiver in the league but it's not must be up there though 96 million over four years 24 a year i'll take it buddy and anything at any time the fact is is he's not huge he's not a dk metcalf but he's certainly got the pace to outrun anyone and when you've got the route tree to match they can't with us he's got our backs i need a job buddy. i need one from you i need one too i need one from you let's get it and i think everybody sees that on sundays i love playing against him because he's just a competitor he's going to compete he's going to be passionate He's going to have fun. Stephon Diggs gets the camera and then starts taking pictures of his teammates. <laughs> and that's the type of guy you like. Oh, I wouldn't mind seeing that picture. Honestly, no one can cover except me. <laughs> I think. Ah, oh, you got to love, you got to love the brotherly rivalry. You really do. It doesn't come along often in professional leagues. You know, we've got, uh, we've got a few sets of brothers that have played in the All Blacks, the New Zealand All Blacks rugby team over the last three, four 10 years, uh, the White Locks, the Ioannis, the Barretts, and the list goes on. Anyways, guys, okay, here we go. Five more videos to go. Nick Bosa, defensive end for the 49ers. We saw his brother earlier on um, playing the same position, actually, so this, this, should be, this should be very, very interesting. Two more brothers in the league, which is fantastic. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.